How's it going everybody? I hope you are healthy and safe. So today in this video I will show you how to take wickets by using spinners. I will try to take all the 10 wickets using spinners. So I will only be bowling with spinners. I would not be using any fast bowlers in this match. So I will tell you the, tip, the tips and tricks which you can use to get all the 10 wickets by using only spinners. So let's see Australia won the toss. I hope they bat first so I don't have to stimulate the innings because I just want to bowl. Yep, they are batting first so we're gonna bowl. So I would be using the first spinner. I will use Ravi Chandra Ashwin and Washington Sundar. So these are the two spinners I will bowl. Uh, I will try to bowl the other team as quick as I can. So we have the Australian openers Aaron Finch and David Warner. That's the beautiful Kuga Kura ball. So here we go, the first ball. So first I will show you the field settings. Which field settings you need. So because we are bowling from the first over, we don't we can't put many fielders at the boundary. So I'll just put two fielders on the offside. You can move the the fielders near the boundary a little bit towards left or right depending on what you prefer but I will move my filters here and I'll have one slip so that's the field which I'm gonna use in this match well, I think I can move another filter um, yep I think I will just move another filter just in case because I have only two filters at the boundary so yeah I'll move it there so what do you need to do so I will I will tell you the method which I used so while using the spinners, especially in limited over matches, I'll try to bowl outside the off stump. And Ooh, usually I try to bowl a flighted delivery. So use the top spin. You can use uh, like off spin as well, but I prefer to use top spin outside off stump with a Yorker length, Yorker length flighted Get delivery. So you can see there I'm using top spin. And the method which I'm going to show doesn't mean you will get wickets in every ball, but the probability of taking wickets increase a lot. So I'll try to get another one. Because when you are bowling outside off stump, there isn't much room available for the batsman to play other shots around the park. Yep. So he takes a single. Oh, we, I think we might have a run out here. I'm making the making the video to get to show how to take wickets using spinners, but I think the first wicket might be a run out. Yeah, I think that's the first wicket. So don't worry, we still have nine more wickets. So I'll I'll try to take the nine wickets by just using spinners and not by other means. So we have Washington Sundar outside off stump, Yorker length delivery, and that's the first wicket. Like it's the second wicket, but the first wicket by the spinners. So again, the trick is same: just ball outside the off stump, use top spin, and use the flighted delivery. You can also use the effort ball, but the flighted delivery has worked for me more then using the other deliveries so i'll do the same again here use a flighty delivery outside the off stump yorker length try to do this again and we have the slip there and that's the third wicket Kohli takes a wonderful catch i just don't know why he was trying to hit there at the stumps he had already taken the catch but nonetheless that's the third wicket no, the Oz is losing another wicket to the spinner. So we already have taken three wickets in this match. Glenn Maxwell, the next batsman. So you can also get hit for boundaries, you know. It's not like you will just get the wickets. So you will still be hit by like a couple of boundaries. But that's fine as, you, as, as long as you're taking wickets at regular intervals. Reverse sweep. There's a filter there and... That's the fourth wicket. Again, I use the same trick, bowling outside the off stump. 
using the top spinner Yorkerland delivery and using a flighted delivery you can see there so Glenn Maxwell losing his wicket to Marcus Joynes we already have four wickets now you can see there the batsmen they are not able to score as quick if we ball outside the off stump which have with two filters at the boundary we can use more filters as well but since it's in the power play we can't have more than two filters at one time but after the power play you can even have more filters outside the inner circle so it's better if you use the spinners later but i just want to show you uh, is that another wicket and yet it does so the fifth wicket goes down half of the australian side is already out so ashwin takes another wicket edges to rishabh pant stone is going for ashwin with another delivery batsman misses see with uh, instead of flighty deliveries you can also use other deliveries as well and that's another wicket this is wicket number six for ashwin but for me i have tried other combinations as well this is the best combination which i have which worked for me i hope it worked for you as well just outside the obstacle flighty delivery yorker length i think if you try you you will also be able to take more wickets or place it in the gap this will go for four That's a nice shot from Aaron Finch. So 31 for 6. No runs there. Another dot ball. So this is a T20 match. So a baller can maximum ball four overs, and I am at the. So Ashwin has already finished his four overs, and Washington Sundar is in his last over. Yes. Takes the single, but you can see that the run rate is only 4.3, and and it's a T20 match. So they are they are not able to score as quick as they would like to because we are consistently taking wickets, and that's another wicket. I guess and yes it is Washington Sundar takes wicket in his last over similar type of dismissal Aaron French this time so Australian 7 out and in the air again I can I catch that I hope so and that's number 8 so 8 wickets down Australia losing their 8th wicket it's just not Australia. If you use any team, if you ball them outside the off stump, flight at Yorkerland delivery, they don't have many options to play a shot because you are already taking the leg side area out or oh, inside edge. Will they take a couple? Yes, they will. So now I, uh, I'm using Rohit Sharma for this over. I don't have many. Oh, sorry, Rahul Chahar. And that's the first slip. Another catch. Come on, I'm pressing. Why it's not taking it? Yes, it is. And takes it. So that's number nine. So just last wicket left. Can Rahul Chah finish the innings? And yes, it is. So Australia all out for 36. Didn't really get going. Such a huge scout. So I have taken nine wickets using the spinners, except the first one, which was a run out. That was unintentional, but. Nevertheless, that was the first wicket and we have the next nine wickets using the spinners. And you can see here Australia all out for only 36 runs. So that's how you take wickets using spinners in limited over matches. There's a different way to take wickets using spinners in test matches, but that's that's the talk for another day. I really hope you like this video, guys. Again, the trick is the same outside off stump. Full length Yorkel and delivery with a flighted one and that will help you out and i really hope you are able to take more wickets using this method thank you for watching this video guys please like and subscribe the channel to see more videos and let me know in the comments below if you have any doubts until then see you next time